Once in the Member Information Center, you can also update your company information. To do this, go to the left-hand menu and click Company Information. Once under Company Information, you can update your contact information, address information, and any additional info you may want to list, including a billing contact for your company. You can also click on Profile Summary, and this will give you a high-level overview of your completion rate for your chamber listing information. This will just allow you to see what all you can utilize and what all you have not utilized. Also under company information, you can add employees to your chamber listing. This will allow you to either list them publicly so that the, the public can contact your employees, and it will also allow you to create logins for new representatives to access your chamber listing. For example, if you hired a new communications or PR person and you wanted them to be responsible for facilitating the chamber membership, you can add them here by clicking Add Employee or Representative, input all of their information, and then email them a login access invitation here at the bottom. This will allow them to have access to the Member Information Center and update any changes as necessary. You can also update your website information, and I will show you where this goes on the Chamber website. Um, as a member, all of you have small web pages under the directory of the Midland Chambers website. This is an example of the Midland Chamber of Commerce's member page. We have the highest level of availability, which is available to our Platinum members. Uh, regular and gold members have different accessibility features under their membership page, but all will have their own dedicated page, which can be found under the directory. So any information that you update under website information will help to populate this page. It's very important as this will allow the public to access more info about your business or get in touch but you can choose to just copy over your organization information that you may have already input. You can also add social network services such as LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And you can add a brief description or about section for your company. You can also add hours of operation and driving directions. And then this is where some membership levels may not have these features, but I'm going to cover them anyways. Under highlights, you have the ability to add a bullet point title and then link it to a URL. These can be any highlights that are relevant to your business that you may want to feature aside from your general website URL. And you can also enter keywords that will help people find you when searching for your company. Aside from website information, this is also where you can add your company logo. If your logo changes, you can come in here at any time and update it so that your listing stays relevant. You can also add photos if you are a certain member level. If you wanted to add any specific photos to your listing, it can be visible to the public, as you can see here down at the bottom under images. You can also choose to add videos. If you have a highlight video or a feature video for your company, this would be a great place for it. You can also choose to add a map pin so people can locate your company better. And lastly, this is where you can choose to download a membership badge that you can then use on your own website. So if you would like to generate a badge, this will populate for you and you can use it in your HTML coding of your own website if you would like to proudly display that you're a member of the chamber.